gentlemen, welcome to the launch of OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 7 Pro. Right time, just like this. Bullets wireless too. Bullets wireless too. Bullets wireless too. But, but you cannot enjoy thumping your chest or getting the chills if the earbuds are causing pain to your ears. And that's why we made sure that no matter where you are and what activity you're engaged in, your Bullets Wireless 2 will fit perfectly into your ears. And if that's not good enough for you, and if that's not good enough for you, let me offer you another pearl of information. We actually went out and tested the fit of Bullets Wireless 2 with 205 users and asked them to try the fit for 1,600 times. And 98.5% of them said, the fit is stable, the fit is smooth, the fit is satisfactory over prolonged listening periods. It's perfect for getting the chills. But wait, the biggest improvements are coming from the inside of Bullets Wireless 2. What we did from the engineering perspective, <laughs> wow. Let me just put it this way. With Bullets Wireless 1, we were Backstreet Boys with I Want It That Way. With Bullets Wireless 2, we are Queen with Bohemian Rhapsody. And this... And this is exactly what this diagram shows, pure Bohemian Rhapsody. And I did not forget about the drivers inside your Bullets Wireless 2. No, 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 no. The balanced twin armature driver will this time make treble even more pronounced with its mids to highs, while the dynamic driver will make bass incredibly low. So while you're receiving high notes via treble in an ear-piercing fashion, the low notes in the bass will make your whole body vibrate. It's the perfect listening experience, whether you're listening to music, whether you're listening to podcasts, or simply just chatting with your better half over a phone call. As for the APTX HD support, let me tell you. Yep, 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 yep. It lowers that background noise, and it helps you to capture the tiniest details in the music performance and the sound. <laughs> The sound is so realistic, it's hard to distinguish it from the actual sound performed by a live musician. It's the best tool to help you isolate yourself from external distractions. But you may ask, how long can the Rhapsody last for, right? Well, I can tell you that the Bullets Wireless 2 are compatible with Warp Charge. And on the full, and on the full charge, you get 14 hours of audio playback time. And that is true. I could also tell you that we managed to engineer 10 minutes of, of warp charge for five hours of audio playback time. Wait, but that's just not true. Because you see, if you use your warp charge to charge your bullets wireless 2 for 10 minutes, you get 10 hours of audio playback time. Let me put it into perspective for you. If you're anything like me, that translates to binge listening to Bon Jovi's It's My Life on the loop for 134 times. If you're anything like Carl, that translates to binge listening to Drake started from the bottom for 112 times on the loop. And if you're anything, anything at all like Shimon, that means that you and Arijit Singh will make a true connection by listening to his Chana Merea on the loop for 125 times. So folks, here you have it. Bullets Wireless 2. Now I'll show you our wonderful product video. So now we're going to announce the next major breakthrough in mobile display technologies. Fluid AMOLED. It's borderless, it's totally immersive, ultra smooth, and breathtaking. It's got no hole, no notch, no gimmicks. It's just pure screen. And it's our largest ever at 6.7 inches. With a... Thank you. With a remarkable screen-to-body ratio of 93%. For the first time ever, we're offering a Quad HD Plus resolution panel. It packs 4.5 million pixels into its edge-to-edge -edge display. It has a pixel density of 516, meaning that you won't be able to see any individual pixels even on its larger display. It's also... So it's got a really immersive screen, 
great color accuracy, but what else? With the Fluid AMOLED, we're for the first time introducing the groundbreaking new 90 hertz refresh rate. What does this mean? Well, regular phones update their content up to 60 times per second. We do 90. So for any content that you experience, you get up to 50% smoother compared to other phones. So each and every tap, swipe, and scroll feels more direct, more responsive, and more realistic. Nowadays, I often just take out my phone and open up Instagram and scroll up and down just for the fun of it, just to experience the smoothness. No, I'm serious. On the subject of details and nuance, we've added a beautiful new horizon light. So when the screen is off and you receive a notification, you'll see rays of light trace the outer edges of our curved display. And to maintain a comfortable viewing experience, Fluid AMOLED also filters out blue light, thereby reducing your eye strain. It also supports HDR. So when you're viewing content on Netflix or YouTube, you'll notice richer details and more nuance in every scene. Netflix now screening on OnePlus. We are super excited about this partnership. And, you know, Carl mentioned HDR, um, you know, basically high dynamic range. And the, the, the OnePlus 7 Pro is HDR certified. So meaning that Netflix subscriber can watch content in HDR. Basically what it means is that you have finer shades between lighter and darker colors. Therefore objects have more depth, making them more real. Basically making your viewing experience on your mobile just so much better. So we know we have... Okay, just like Jerome mentioned, I'm here to walk you guys through camera. So let's start from the front facing one. Where is it, you might ask. And don't worry, we have not forgotten. Just one tap, and it's there for you in half a second. I agree with you guys, it's very cool. But primarily, it has to be useful and durable. And I know whenever there are motorized parts, our community is worried about how long will it last. So we have put a lot of effort into development of this, this camera. And in the end, we've performed the test. This test is about opening camera of one phone up and down 300,000 times. So if you're keeping notes, um, then there's crazy stats for you guys. So if you would open this camera 50 times every day to take a selfie, it would, it would last very well for 16 and a half years. And you don't need to believe me, we have this on video. Unfortunately, YouTube has 12 hours long limit. So you can head up to our YouTube channel and see it for 12 hours opening and closing. Opening and closing. But how many times would open and close is just one concern of our community. I heard that you guys would be also concerned about how durable will it be. Will it not be too brittle or too fragile? So we have performed other tests. Yeah, this camera module really is built to last and our engineers thought of everything. So if imagine the scenario you're taking selfie and your phone accidentally drops, 
camera will slide right back automatically detecting the fall. I think it's very nifty too, yeah. But it's not only durable and smart, but it also is able to produce some great photos thanks to the 16 megapixel sensor. I would say over the years we've received so many great photos from you guys. Our community sent us photos from over 140 countries. I think they are really marvelous. But still, very often when I speak with you guys, I hear that you know, Shimon, my OnePlus is really exceeding ex expectations, but when it comes to camera, it's like, okay, it's good, it's not great. So with OnePlus 7 Pro, we decided to change that. We're introducing for the first time ever, triple camera setup. So with the super wide-angle lens, wide-angle lens, and telephoto lens for that zoom, this is a seriously vertical camera setup, this perfect DSLR replacement. And let's jump right into the main camera sensor. <laughs> yeah, 48 megapixel, plenty of details, but also what matters a lot for you guys is low light. So we've increased surface area of the sensor to half an inch, so by 29%. And effective pixel size has been increased by 72%, so that the sensor can get way more light than on, let's say, OnePlus 60. Also, we have completely changed our lens. Right now, we have added one more element to the lens for a 7P lens setup. And by that, we've been able to achieve aperture of focal 1.6. You guys know your stuff. It's additional 15% of light into the sensor. And then we have not forgotten about optical image stabilization, of course. It's really important when it comes to those low light photos where you need more time to get more light into the sensor. And it's also obviously great for those ultra smooth videos. It would not be possible without. And then we have another lens. Now we have, for the first time ever, introducing a wide-angle lens with OnePlus phone. It has PDAF focusing methods for the fastest focusing, and primarily it expands field of view to 117 degrees. And then, anyone here using OnePlus 5? Yeah, we still have some. And OnePlus 5 was the only OnePlus phone with a telephoto lens. And I heard from many of our users of later flagships that they are missing on this experience. So we are bringing telephoto lens to OnePlus flagship phones. And this one is even better than the one on OnePlus 5. It has 3x optical zoom and optical image stabilization. So with this setup of wide angle, normal, and telephoto lens. We have a really seriously vertical camera that is like a camera bag, but can fit into your pocket. But this all wouldn't be possible without proper focusing. So we have changed our focusing method to three-prone focusing. So our camera will detect the scenario and automatically switch between PDAF, CAF, and laser autofocus. But this is, of course, all just a tech talk. So I think we should hear from a credible source, from a person that has spent years outdoors photographing nature. I would like to invite on stage Andy Badon, photographer of National Geographic. As much as feedback from Andy and other photographer means for us, I know that to convince you guys how good this camera is, it's not enough. So, we have sent our camera to the most profound, independent and professional source of benchmarking for image quality, DxO Mark. And guess what? This is by far the highest... Thank you. Okay. With OnePlus 6, we have introduced 
Google Lens in our camera app. There was this icon here on the bottom level. And we really liked it, and we heard from you guys that you like it too. Uh, and I think the coolest thing was that you can access it so quickly right from the camera application. So we have taken one more step, and right now you don't even need this icon, just long press on any object in viewfinder, and you'll search for what you see. I think what's even cooler is that for some objects, like for example, phone number or QR code, you don't even need to long press, it will just detect it automatically for you. Okay, let's move on to performance. Yeah, I hear you guys. I, I don't think I need to mention anymore that performance has been a, be has been a highlight for, for OnePlus devices ever since OnePlus One, and it wouldn't have been possible without cooperation with Qualcomm. So thank you very much, Qualcomm, for it. And obviously, <laughs> obviously we're bringing Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 to our latest flagship device. And Qualcomm really stepped up the game this time. They have moved to seven nanometer processing, which is, which is a really huge breakthrough. I think a couple of years ago, it would, it would sound really bonkers that this would be possible. So with those eight cryo cores, now Qualcomm Snapdragon is 45% faster than Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. It is also 20% more power efficient than the previous generation. And of course it comes paired up with Adreno 640, which is 20% more powerful and 30% more power efficient. And I really mean it when I say that we have left no stone unturned this time when it comes to performance. So we have increased RAM in our top variant to 12 gigabytes. I think with this much RAM, you never need to worry about multitasking and switching between apps. But also if we're providing you guys with so much RAM, we have to do something special with software. So we are bringing the RAM Boost. With RAM Boost, the heaviest of apps will load out of RAM memory instead of ROM memory because RAM is a much faster type of memory. And by that, it will reduce loading times. So instead of looking at that loading time, loading screen of the game, you'll just be able to play your favorite games. And then I'm really proud to announce Exactly. OnePlus 7 Pro is the first phone in the world to ship with UFS 3.0 memory. UFS 3.0 memory will allow you to read and write files and data faster on OnePlus 7 Pro. In fact, 79% faster than UFS 2.1 memory time. And then we have also totally changed our cooling system on OnePlus 7 Pro, introducing liquid cooling. It will help you manage temperature of device much better for those long gaming sessions, as well as will maintain better battery life of the device. And speaking of battery, we are rising from 3,700 to 4,000 milliamp hours. This is easily over a day battery, battery capacity, but just in, the, in case you finally need to top up, of course, we are ringing Warp Charge. First time we have introduced Warp Charge with McLaren 60, OnePlus 60 McLaren Edition, and it's 38% faster than the regular OnePlus 60. And then, speaking of charging times, in 20 minutes, from zero to 48%. So back in the days, we have um, changed user habits with Days power in half an hour, and this time we are elevating this experience, topping up this almost 2,000 milliamp hours in just 20 minutes. And then next feature is something we have re had requests for a lot, like really a lot. So Carl told you all about this new crispy 2K screen, so we decided to pair it up with some stereo dual speakers.
and we really don't have assets either. It's a pair of serious quality stereo dual speakers, and we even tied up with Dolby for the Dolby Atmos. So with the Dolby Atmos support, you'll have this three-dimensional experience that you deserve. And then, finally, we have also changed our vibrating motor. We are introducing X-axis vibrating motor with richer multi-level experience and variable strength and intensivity. It, you'll really feel it when you receive a notification or type something, something on your keyboard or play games. But first, let's have things straight. Oxygen OS. And these are not just my words. This is reader's choice of PC Mac. So once again, we finish above all the variants of Android and iOS. And truly, we believe that we owe you to you guys, our community. The, our forums is a place where product managers and engineers and designers go on a daily basis looking for feedback, validating some features or talking about direction in the future. And this is really the most valuable source of information from product people. So thank you very much, guys. You guys know that when we make Oxygen OS, we are not making features for keynotes. We are making features for our community. And I think for us, what matters a lot is optimizing those experiences that only OEMs can do, not competing with third-party app developers because you have whole Play Store for it and you can go and download any app. That's why what we want to do is optimize those details. So let me give you a first example. We've optimized our navigation gestures. So we have reduced a time from first touch to animation start from 90 milliseconds to 70 milliseconds for a more smoother, more intuitive experience with navigation gestures. And as a second example, we have also changed how our scrolling, how scrolling feels on OnePlus 7, 7 Pro. So first, our engineers develop a special app for scrolling animation where they can change parameters and they were adjusting those variables for as long as they felt the animation is right. So by right, I mean animation that feels natural, like a kicked football or like a rolled rock. And this is the kind of dedication we need from our team to be able to provide you with this fast and smooth experience that we have promised. And then I know that you guys care about more than just details of Oxygen OS. You guys care about, Oxygen, about Android as well. So we were one of the first to bring Android Pie. It was with OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 60. And I'm very proud that already a week ago, we have developed first Android Q developers preview and already shipped it to OnePlus 6s and OnePlus 60s. All right. Let's, and also, obviously, we are continuing our commitment to two years of Android version updates and three years of security patches. Okay, let's move on to some of the new features, what we have prepared for you guys this time. We got lots of feedback from you guys about that one. So we are bringing screen recorder na natively to Oxygen OS. If you download any app from Google Play Store, you cannot record um, screen together with internal audio. So that's why we wanted to bring this for you guys. It's easily accessible from quick toggles. So it's perfect for recording the, that gameplay. And also it's good for tutorials. So explaining to your uncle how to set that custom ringtone is no longer a problem. And in fact, we care about more than your uncle's custom ringtone. So we have developed one more feature that we call Zen Mode. And we feel that we are using our devices a little bit too much and they are becoming a very important part of our lives, but they shouldn't be crutch uh, for us. So that's why with Zen Mode, you will be disconnected from your device for short 20 minutes. 
And during this 20 minutes, you'll be able to do only three things. Receive calls, make emergency calls, and take a photo just in case something spectacular happens. So we really believe that technology should serve you, not the other way around, and that innovation should improve lives, not take away time of it. And then at the end, something very special. So we think that, I think you guys know that India is our favorite region. So yeah. So it only makes sense that our first batch of region specific localized features we will ship here in India. So Already next month in Open Beta Build, you will be able to test new features that will improve your work-life balance or help you to travel or revamp your SMS experience. Also, some of the features like cricket scores that we have worked on together with ESPN will come to you this month to make sure we make it before World Cup starts. I think what's the most important it is that all those features have been developed in our newly established R&D center in Hyderabad. And they all come from feedback from our India community. So thank you very much, guys, once again. Our variant on OnePlus 7. From the lava red on OnePlus 5T to OnePlus 6 red, red has become our iconic color. And just like the red in our logo, red is the, red is the color of passion, red is the color of, of, of action, and red is the color of energy. And we'd like to continue spreading this passionate spirit that red represents to even more of our users. And hopefully, this color will become favorite for many of you this summer. As one of our carefully crafted devices, OnePlus 7 has also inherited OnePlus performance DNA. It packs Snapdragon 855, it has RAM boost, and it has 20 watts fast charge. So whether it's the performance bit, whether it's the app opening, or just simply fast charging, you will be a step ahead of others every single time. Now, what about the speakers? Imagine a different scenario. You're sitting at your home on your sofa, holding a phone in front of you, blocking your speaker. The sound is muffled because, as we all know, the most comfortable site to hold the phone on is always the one on which the speakers are located. Not a problem anymore because with dual stereo speakers on OnePlus 7, now you can really, but really, Netflix and chill because even if you block one of your speakers, even if the sound is muffled from one of them, you still have one speaker left from which the sound will flow freely. And if that's not good enough for you, well, we pack dual Dolby Atmos inside OnePlus 7. And I could tell you, with that, with that, sound wraps around you perfectly, whether you're listening to music or watching movies. And best of all, you don't have to wiggle anymore around your phone just to find that sweet spot where the sound is completely immersive. Now that sweet spot is always wherever you are. You would think that with a different phone variant, you would get a different primary camera, right? Well, think again, because OnePlus 7 camera packs the same 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor that we packed on OnePlus 7 Pro camera. And we have seen how beautiful photos turned out with that camera. So I will not speak how beautiful photos can be on OnePlus 7. I'll just show them to you. The saturation is just perfect. And the contrasts are absolutely beautiful. So let's do a quick recap. OnePlus 7 packs the latest and most powerful chipset, Snapdragon 855. It also houses 48 megapixel primary sensor IMX586, which will allow you to take the most wonderful photos. And the best of all, with your dual Dolby Atmos speakers, your sweet spot is now wherever you are. So. I hope you'll love OnePlus 7. I know we do. And now, please welcome back to stage, Carl. What's left? Well, we launched a lot of uh, awesome products tonight. But what are they going to cost? First off, we got the Bullets Wireless 2. Offering exceptional sound quality, these will retail for $59.90.
Next up, the headline of tonight, the OnePlus 7 Pro will be available in the 6 128 gigabyte version for 48.99. The 8 to the A256 gig version, 52.99. And the top tier, 256 gig version with an insane 12 gigs of RAM will retail for 57.99. All right, next, the OnePlus 7. We have the 6 128 gigabyte version available in mirror gray and the 8 256 gig version in mirror gray as well as the new stunning red color. So what is that going to cost? What do you guys think? Thank you. So the Bullets Wireless 2 comes with great audio and fast charging. The OnePlus 7 Pro has the most amazing display and it's our most ambitious product ever. And then we have the OnePlus 7, a truly no compromise device at a great value.